Hello and welcome to Hobby King, Stuart here with a flight review and presentation of a model that you all know and love but is in back here, back in a slightly revised form, in a V2 form and it is of course the Avios Bushmule. Um, now on this flight review, because it's already a known and much loved model, we don't need to get too much into the technicalities. If you want the full spec of the model of course, you can check out the uh, description underneath this video, that will take you to the website and you'll get all the spec you, you need. But what you do need to know, I will go into right now. So this is the V2 of, like I've said, the very popular and much loved uh, Avios Bushmule. Uh, it's 1500 millimeter span and it can fly on anything from a uh, 3000 up to a 5000 milliamp hour forest or if you really want to squeeze some stuff in there because it is a mule after all it will take the load you can fly on up to a I tried a 6000 milliamp hour 3s in there because it will fly on both 3 and 4s um, and of course it's very very good for FPV as you would have seen with the V1 what it's also got of course still is the cargo door again from the V1 and it's got that ability to land and take off and fly from tight unprepared spaces because it is indeed a bush mule. So how is it different from the V1? Well the most uh, striking obvious thing is of course the colour scheme. We've gone with a red, black and white scheme on this one. Uh, out of the two uh, colour versions of the V1, uh, the red and blue was the more popular so we went with a red for the predominant colour on the V2. Uh, you may recognise these propellers and spinners from the Avios Albatross, that's uh, because they are in fact the same. Gives us a little more thrust, a little more power and performance out of the same motors that would have come in the V1. Uh, other than that there's a few small changes uh, the wing screws are now wing bolts, they go into a brass insert which is very very nice and the nose wheel has improved geometry and is a little stronger too. The servos have been slightly upgraded as well for a little more control authority in flight. Still flies just as good as the V1 which is very very fast if you're on for us as we'll show you but also nicely slows down and is very good for that uh, short takeoff and landing type of flying too. Uh, in terms of assembly, there's a few things to note. Um, my preference is to fully assemble the wing and then transport the wing and the fuselage separately. Also, as you can see from the footage I've got here, just like on the Avios Albatross, because the majority of the electronics and the business are uh, confined to the wing, uh, there's very little in terms of electronics in the, the fuselage itself, so I prefer to have my receiver mounted on the underside centre of the wing, as you can see from this footage here. Again, exact same setup on the Albatross, and it works very, very well. That means when you plug it in, you've just got to uh, feed in your power lead and plug in your three servos. I think it's the uh, cargo door and the, uh, the wing servos. So it's very, very straightforward. Sorry, the cargo door and the elevator and the rudder servo. Very straightforward. Uh, it's running on. If I take this hatch off here, same nice easy access hatch. I'm running on a Rhino 3300 4S. That's the approximate position. And with the nose off here, you can probably see a little bit more of the reinforcements and improvements that have been made there. And of course, it still retains, if you wish to use it, the access hatch on the side. So we are now going to um, get it up in the air. Uh, just wait for these club members to finish flying. It's quite a cold winter's day here, although the sun has come out a bit, so we've got a little bit of sunshine, which is a rare treat in our videos of late, uh, but we're gonna make the most of it. And of course, we'll have the onboard camera on too for that other perspective. So without further ado, let's go and fly the Bushmule V2. Okay, so here we are, we are on the field, we're ready to go. One thing that I forgot to mention that you may have already known from the previous version, does of course come with LEDs, and certainly in the light like this, where the sun is starting to fade, they stand out quite nicely. Do have differential thrust set up on this. Something that's very easy to do nowadays with twins, uh, as you saw, or, or any motors, as you saw with the Lancaster, and it's recommended with the Albor Albatross 2. Not so much needed in flight uh, off wheels, but if you're gonna use the optional, optional floats, it'll be very, very good. But what I will do is show you differential thrust up in the air, just to see how much fun it can be being silly. Uh, without further ado, I think we're gonna take off now. I've got differential off at the moment and we're going to get flying. Onboard's running, so you can see that perspective too. And uh, I don't need much of a runway, because it is the bush mule. All right, taking off. OK, you ready? Taking off. That's 4S, full power climb out. I'll now switch on the differential and do silly stuff. There we go, that's a little bit of fun, but I'll come back to that in a minute. Differential's off now. Now I'm cruising at about, I don't know, less than a third throttle. Low right, left. You can see the LEDs there. This is downwind, keep in mind. 
colours standing out really, really nicely. Holding on a bit of elevator there. Got P47 going past. And an EDF taking off as well. This is uh, going to be a busy, busy flight review. So let's bring it in now for a pass left to right. Again, this is about a third throttle. No flaps. Cruising past. But look at this pullout. This is full power climb out, and I love this. Up she goes. I put the differential on again. And I'm just going <laughs> to. Comes out of that really, really nicely. It's the differential that really helps you get into that. And I've got full flaps on now as I come uh, downwind on this leg. How's that looking on camera? Very nice. All right. I'm going to mid flaps because I'm downwind. I think I'm going to take the flaps off completely. Let's just get through the sports flying now as we are. I'm just going to bring it around, trim a little bit on the rudder there. This is full power pass. Got the onboard, there we go, nice little bank pass. It's, uh, it's not EDF fast, but for a twin sports model, it's really, really nice. Low pass, right, left, full power again. Oh, there's that D47 again. So we are going to come around and we'll do some aerobatics for you guys. I'm going to bring it up and do a loop in the center. This is all in low rates. And here I am going up for a loop. Ready? And looping up. Bags of power for that, really not a problem. And then I'm going to go straight into a roll. This is low rate roll. roll big and barrelly. Very nice. That was on low rate, so you can do high rate as well, uh, as well which I will show you. Just let the uh, space clear in front of me here. This is mm, oh, a third throttle again there. I'll bring it back around from left to right and we'll show you high rate um, roll on this one. Coming in left, right for a roll. Very busy years. We've been waiting for a long time for good weather and now that we've got good weather, everyone's flying. So this is full rate on the Aideron. You can see much faster and the opposite way. Very, very nice. Um, now, do a stall turn off the top there without the differential. We'll play around with the differential a little bit more in a minute. And I'm just going to show you the stall. Stall with no flaps. I'm going to bring it round into wind. And you'll see that the stall is very, very benign. And then we're going to start having some more fun with it. So have you got that on camera there? Mm -hmm. This is into wind. That is high rates, full up elevator. It will drop just a little bit. But I'm, I'm just holding up elevator now and it just rides it all the way down. So eventually it will stall with it in this instance, which is really, really nice. Let's get another pass on here. I'm going to come around from the left here, okay? Picking up, you've got that big Avios uh, logo on the back now, which is really, really nice. And I'm going to bring it around, a little bit of trim there. Low, right, left. And now I've got jet coming. Have to go around again. Busy, busy here today. But those color scheme, the new color scheme, I think is really quite striking. The light is a little low. You can see it really, really well. Clear now. I'm going to do a low right left, full power with a little bit of bank over. There are the lights. Full power. And it does pretty much go where you point it, which I really, really like. This is 4S, of course. You can fly 3S very, very easily. I'm going to do another loop in the center here. But I really, really enjoy the power on 4S. And that's something you'll especially want when you're flying on floats because you've got that much traction when they're on the water. So you need to keep an eye on that. All right, let's do a little more differential stupidness here. How's that looking on camera? Looks great. Pretty much unlimited vertical. I'm going to stall it and then hit the differential. And then just let go of the sticks. And <laughs> out she comes. Really, really nice. It's, um, there, there'll be many pilots out there that are much, much better than, than I. And they can explore that differential fun a lot more um, than I can right now and really, really uh, have some exciting times with that differential thrust in the air. There you go, I've got a jet behind me, below me, you can see the LED sticking out. That was again at uh, less than half throttle, got a hammer head off the top there. And now it is a bush mule, we're going to put the flaps on. So I bring it around into wind, scratch my nose, Where is it? Uh, yep, pretty much this way. Now, instantly kick it into full, um, full flaps. Nice barn door flaps. First of all, give you a nice slow pass. So you get an indication of just how slow it can be flown. Look at that, easy on a bit of elevator. Really, really nice. 
nice and again you can pull out of that if you wish full power like so differential to kick the ground nicely there you see it and then just easing up on the elevator but i can fly this in a really tight space too that's very very nice do have the differential on at this point i'm going to put full flaps on and show you it flying in a tighter space do watch for the stall when you're flying on full flaps. It can bite you if you're not careful, but for the most part, it's very benign. That's full flaps downwind. Take those off, get a bit of air speed up, and I'm going to come around and I'm going to kick differential off and go for a full flap. Nice touch and go. All right, here we go. Nose down on this approach a bit, and then ease up on the elevator about now. Feed in a bit of power. There it is. You can just crawl out of that. That's crawling up. I do want to keep my speed up a bit more, so I'm going to drop the flaps. No noticeable pitch up or down with the flaps, which is fantastic. It tells me that the model is really, really well harmonized. Hopefully you can see those lights as they're coming. Can you see those there on camera? Very well. Great. Look at that banking over there. And we're just going to do a little more bush flying, as it were, with those flaps. In fact, I'll stop short and I'll do a nice short takeoff for you guys as well. Just got to circle a bit because I've got a jet coming in, so I'll show you a little more slow flying from higher up. Look at that. And I'm going to step forward a bit, and you can see that's me flying hands off now. Just noses up a little bit, really, really nice and steady. It's a good model to learn to fly multis on. It's a good FPV platform, as you guys already know. And now I'm just cruising full flap. Um, the power helps just to maintain but it's still very slow because of those flaps. You can ignore my timer for now. Do you want a little bit of rudder in the turn when you've got full flaps? Try and keep the wing level as much as possible. And we'll do a landing now at Ten full seconds. flap. Feed a little power Ten on seconds. the bottom there. Feed Ten power seconds. just a tiny Ten bit seconds. as you pull up on Ten the elevator. Ten and then drop power. That's the short landing, I would say. Going to give you a very, very quick short takeoff. I am getting towards the end of the pack now. And uh, then we'll finish up this flight review. Ready? Ready. Okay, so I've got four flaps and I'm in high rates on everything. And we are into wind and we are Punch it. going. Oh, there we go. That's a pretty short takeoff run. The full size over there. And remember, this is getting towards the end of the pack. So I was very, very impressed with that. I get around seven minutes or so flight times on this 3300. One thing I will do, if you can see, I'm just going to do the cargo door. You see that opening there? Yeah. I'll do another one. That can act as an air brake too. But you already know from the V1 how much fun the cargo door can be. You want to drop parachutes or confetti or stuff like that. So I'm going to cruise around again and I'll do it on mid flaps and I'll just get a closer pass so you can see that cargo door. Here we go. Alright, look out for the cargo door opening up at the rear. Now, see that? Pitches Beautiful. up a little bit so it's a bit of an air brake. And there we go. So I'll just finish off with a stall turn there and then I'm grabbing the uh, flaps give me a bit of height there we go then I'm going to bring it round for a landing because I can hear that the battery is getting low now I'm flipping into mid flaps keeping the power on and I'm going to flare into this keep the nose a little high flare 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 lovely look at that it maintained that was nice did you see that it maintained just a slightly nose up attitude and it really cushions onto the ground so let's bring it back and if you are steering on the grass especially long grass differential is helpful here you can see that's the differential and this is non-differential in the same brake setting so you can see that it really makes a difference so you can imagine on water just how much better that is and there we go like i said it's a Bushmule. Most of you will know of the Bushmule, and if you don't, and this is your first sighting of it, the Bushmule V2 is an improved version of the Bushmule. Um, but for those of you that do know the Bushmule, you'll know what it's all about, you know what it can do. Hopefully this has just given you a little refresher. It's available in all warehouses now with part support as well. But that about wraps it up for the Avios V2 flight review. Thank you very much for watching. Please comment as always below. We read the good and bad ones. Thank you uh, for taking the time to swing by and see this flight review. And don't forget to like as well and check out our other social channels for more on this from us and from our reviewers too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next flight review at some point soon.